Hello and welcome to one of, if not the busiest day of the year of the entire sports calendar for local sports anchors. We've got state tournaments in Idaho and Washington going on at full bore. We're going to start in Yakima. Pullman taking on a 14 seed in Prosser at the 2A level first quarter. Pullman's champ Pawaki dishes it to Grayson Hunt who gets the bucket and that gives the Greyhounds a seven point lead later in the period. Pullman up 13 to 10. Peyton Rogers with the steal and takes the ball the length of the court. He lays it up and in for two hounds up by five moments later Pullman back on the attack Jaden Brown stops pops the fadeaway jumper to give the Greyhounds a seven point lead Pullman would blow it open in the third quarter and win 78 to 48 West Valley girls played spoiler yesterday upsetting the number one seed in Tumwater but their luck ended today against Ellensburg in the 1A boys tournament both Quincy and Freeman sent to the losers bracket. Meanwhile, the Freeman girls and Colville girls also falling. So Pullman, the only local team alive across all brackets in Yakima. To Boise, St. Mary's boys looking to defend their 2021 title today. That started against Firth. Tristan Gentry Nelson gets the Lumberjacks going in the third quarter. Back to back buckets and his team would be up by 11. Then at the beginning of the fourth, Grayson Sands with the seal. St. Mary's with a 14 point lead after the bucket. They'd go on to win 46 34. An all local 2B quarterfinal between Liberty and Lake Roosevelt. This game was decided by the second half and it was a big one for the Lancers. Third quarter, Colton Marsh would take over. He'd score six consecutive points, scramble for the ball. Marsh going to come up with it again, and he gets the bucket to go. Next Lancers possession, the miss, but never fear. Marsh is here. He had a game high 19 points. Liberty goes on a 22 to eight run in the third quarter and runs away with this one, 69 54. Colfax boys playing their first game of State B against Morton White Pass. Let's get this out of the way first. John Lustig had 40 points tonight, including this jam. However, Morton White Pass would keep up just over a minute to go, trailing by two. Lustig, the guy you want with the ball, and he delivers the and one bucket. Problem is, he would miss the freebie and pick up a foul in the effort to get the rebound. So the Bulldogs start out for the final minute of a tie game. Morton White Pass would capitalize by making free throws. Rose, they win 64 to 60. Another thriller in the uh, in Brewster Tootle Lake game that was in the same bracket earlier on in the day. Brewster would trail by double digits at one point in the second half, but with 40 seconds to go, this one was tied at 45. And AJ Woodward with a nice move in the post gets it to drop. Bears up 47 45. We're tied again with 20 seconds to go. Brewster draining the clock for a last second attempt. Senior Adai Najira. Knocks down the jumper. There's your game winner. Bears win 67-65 to the 2B girls. Colfax, the high seed on Raymond. The Bulldogs will come out on fire today. Asher Kai sinks the deep three. She would drop 22 points. Colfax up 27 to 13. The other big hitter was Bren McGaughy. She also dropped a cool 20 to be exact 27 points. Colfax takes this one 67-34, an all-local matchup in the 2B tournament between Okanagan and Lake Roosevelt. Third quarter was all Bulldogs. Alex Goat stops and pops and gets the jumper. Then Miley lights Rawson, drives past all the defenders. Next possession, Taylor Meyer gets a block, and her teammates reward her by giving her the loose change. 4-2, Okanagan outscored Lake Roosevelt by 19 in the quarter on their way to a 64 49 victory. Liberty girls, another seven seed, able to pull spoiler last week and get a bye to the quarters playing Chief Leshi. After this game, might as well start calling the Lancers a splash sitter. Sisters, Liberty making it rain from three point land. Tegan Colvin there, she had 22 points. It all continued in the second half. Ellie Denny knocking down one of a handful of threes she had shortly thereafter. Grace Grumbly dialing it in from long range. Liberty rolls in this one. 59 to 29. Number one seed at ACH playing their first game of the 1B state tournament at the arena today against Lumi Nation. Back and forth game, second quarter. Grady Murray hits the corner three for the Warriors. Murray able to convert again with some fantastic passing. Only one point separated these teams at the half, but ACH would control it in the second, winning 52 to 44. Cusick boys taking on a sales team that handled Welpin it yesterday. Colton Seymour to Celius Holmes. He hits the jumper. Celius would have 15 points. Panthers up 24 to 16, but the Panthers would have two big shooters today. Bodie Seymour drops 21, and brother Colton scores 19 as well. The Panthers win 74. 
65. Moses Lake Christian boys, however, not as fortunate. They fall in a grinded out game to Sunnyside Christian. An all Palouse quarterfinal between the Colton and Pomeroy's Pomeroy girls at the 1B level. The story of this game was Colton senior guard Maggie Meyer. She had 25 points and was a playmaker on offense all night long. She also flew around on the court on defense, leading the press. Colton used the Meyer's strong game to take down Pomeroy 57 to 43. A Vikings versus Vikings matchup as Mossy Rock played Garpal. This game was a tale of two halves. Garfield, Garfield Palouse would take a big lead in the first thanks to senior Kinsey Peterson. She had 20 points in the first half, but Mossy Rock would make a comeback in the second. Haley Brooks knocking down a triple in the fourth quarter to get within a point. Garpal would hang on uh, to their lead though and win 40 to 35. Another 1B scores Nia Bay only led Wilbur Crest and Keller by two at the half but opened up a lead in the third quarter and they never looked back. Now back to Idaho with the heavily favored Lapway boys playing Lighthouse. Lapway one of the best teams in the state regardless of classification and that was apparent today. They'd start their game off against the Lighthouse with back to back threes then Idaho commit Titus year out with two right here. Congrats to him as he scored his 2,000th career point today. Lapway starts the game on a 10-0 run and cruises 83 to 39. Back to Idaho. Or we're staying in Idaho, I should say. In the late 1A D1 game tonight, Kamii and Liberty Charter. Kamii leading 18 to 13 in the third. Luke Pro changes that. Cubs up eight after a pair of Kamii free throws. Brady Cox pours it on back on back-to-back -back possessions. Cubs up 14 and Kamii cruises 41 to 23. The Logos boys pulling off the win today. We'd show you highlights of this one, but we had significant, significant issues getting the NFHS feed to work. And our final scores of the night, both our local teams out of the 1A D2 tournament, both Kendrick and Timberline get blown out. We'll be right back.